This video is created by the Standards and Interoperability Lab, Asia. This session, we will be discussing about modeling scenarios using FIRE. The presentation will be as follows. A quick recap on FIRE resources, as we will be working with it, we need to be reoriented about it. Clinical scenario, an example of a scenario will be presented. The scenario that will be used throughout this presentation. Modeling scenario using FIRE resources, based on the presented scenario, we will look into FIRE resources that will be used to capture the needed data in the scenario. Let's start with a quick recap on FIRE resources. What are these FIRE resources? FIRE resources is the building blocks of FIRE. A resource is a container of information which represents something in real world. Reading one resource can reveal a resource with links to other resources. This will be shown in our modeling later. There are roughly 160 FIRE resources available and can be checked in the FIRE specification. It can be represented in multiple formats like JSON, XML, Turtle. Most of the resources can be found in the resource list at www.hl7.org slash fire resource list.html. Resources in resource list can be seen in different ways, categorized by functionality. Alphabetical Following our tool layout By maturity Security category by standard status or by committee. To see specifications of a specific resource, you may click the resource name which is a link. It will give you details of the resource. In this example, let's see the patient resource. Specification of the patient resource includes scope and usage the tree structure of the resource content, terminology bindings, constraints, resource SID, linking other resources and so on, until the search parameters. You may also click other links to get specific information about it. That's our recap on resources. Now, let's look at a sample clinical scenario. One is part of the frontliners of the city government going house to house to give relief goods. As part of the efforts of the country to do mass testing with priority to the frontliners, one was one of the many frontliners who went to the testing area and has done rapid antibody based testing. The result came, and the result was positive. Since rapid testing still can't confirm a COVID-19 case yet, he was referred to a hospital for a swab test. Contact tracing will be done, starting from his family members, co-workers and those beneficiaries of relief goods he had contact with. Now, with our given scenario we will be looking at the different fire resources we can use to represent each object in our scenario. You may pause this video and try to do it yourself or we can do it together. Just a reminder that available resources can be seen in the fire specification found in the resource list at www.hl7.org slash fire resource list.html. One obvious resource would be the patient resource which in our scenario this is one and his co-frontliners who will be tested. The patient resource covers the WHO information about the patient which may be referenced to other resources. Each health workers may they be doctors, nurses or other medical specialists involved in administering the testing are assigned as resource practitioner which covers a person who is directly or indirectly involved in the provisioning of healthcare. Organization will be the resource for the group of healthcare workers assigned in the testing center. As organization resource is used for grouping of people or organizations formed for the purpose of achieving some form of collective action which may include departments, 
community groups, healthcare practice groups, payer or insurer. As it is intended to represent the more conceptual hierarchies, such as the health workers working in that testing center. The testing center will be a location resource which is intended to describe the more physical structures managed, operated by an organization. This resource contains the details and position information for a physical place where services are provided and resources and participants may be stored, found, contained, or accommodated. So far we have used patient resource for patients, practitioner resource for healthcare workers, organization for the group of healthcare workers assigned in the center and location resource for the testing center. Continuing our scenario, one and his co-frontliners will go to the testing center. As they go their initial assessment will be done via interview or questionnaire. Then proceed with the blood extraction for the rapid antibody based testing. After the procedure and reading of the results, test result will be handed to the patient. For this part of our scenario, we will start to look at the encounter resource which covers the interaction between a patient and healthcare providers for the purpose of providing healthcare services or assessing the health status of a patient. The initial assessment of the patient will include the observation resource which is used for measurements and simple assertions made about a patient, device or other subject. This may include vital signs, personal characteristics or social history. Another resource that will be used for the assessment is the condition resource which includes clinical condition, problem, diagnosis, or other event, situation, issue or clinical concept that has risen to a level of concern. In our scenario this resource may include medical history or symptoms of the patient. Since testing will be done, a request for the extraction will be needed and that would be a service request resource. It is the fire resource to record requests for service such as diagnostic investigations, treatments, or operations to be performed. When the patient's blood is extracted, this will be a specimen resource which will be used in processing the results. Specimen resource includes the process for gathering, maintaining and processing the specimen as well as where the specimen originated. As for the results we can also use the observation resource. From our initial resources, patient, practitioner, organization, and location. We have now additional resources for our scenario. Encounter resource for the interaction of patient and practitioner. Observation for the initial assessment and procedure results. Condition resource for the medical history and symptoms from the initial assessment. The resource service request for the procedure request and specimen resource for the sample to be tested. The result of test was then given to one, the patient, since the result is positive, he will be referred to a hospital for a swab test and contact tracing will be done. Since further testing is needed for the patient, a referral to a larger hospital will be given. We can use the service request resource for the referral. For the contact tracing, each co-worker Family members and beneficiaries will be represented as patients using a patient resource and will use the same resources similar to one. At this point we named all the resources we need to cover our scenario. These are Patient, for profiling all the patients to be investigated, assessed, treated. Practitioner, for profiling all the health workers. Organization for all health workers assigned to the testing center and hospitals. Location, for profiling test center and hospitals. Encounter, for the interaction between patient and healthcare providers. Observation, to capture measurements and subjective point in time assessments. Condition, to record detailed information about a condition, problem, diagnosis, 
or other event, situation, issue, or clinical concept that has risen to a level of concern. Service request, to record the request of the procedure to the patient. Specimen, is for the sample taken from the patient to be used in analysis. Since we've already defined the resources needed, let us try to see the relationship of each resources to each other if there's any. If there's a relationship between resource 1 and resource 2, this means that there's any to reference the resource 1 to resource 2 or vice versa. The encounter resource must reference to the patient which is the subject of the consultation. It should also reference to the practitioner resource as the investigator and a participant in the encounter. Encounter should also reference where the encounter took place or where the patient has been, which is the location resource. Practitioner should reference an organization resource where he or she is a part of. The location resource should reference the organization responsible for the provisioning and upkeep of it. On the encounter resource, observation may be an event resulting to it thus those two resources should have a relationship. This is the same with the condition resource that is also an event from encounter. Since both observation and condition is referenced in encounter, we can say that these resources are also related to patients, practitioner and location resources involved in that encounter. The service request resource will be initiated by an encounter with referenced resources like patient, practitioner and location is also related. Service request will reference specimen resource as the procedure sample. Test result will be recorded as observation resource. The observation resource referenced the specimen used in the said observation. Here's our final resource model for the scenario given. We covered the scenario with the defined fire resources. Just a reminder, in each resource, you may not use all the elements specified in the fire specification. Only those elements that will be necessary in your scenario needs to be implemented. For additional information about the resources, you may visit the fire specification site at www.hl7.org slash fire slash index.html. Thank you very much. If you have questions, you may email us at ada at sil-asia.org or phil at sil-asia.org.